when you've built the most beautiful car ever made, what on earth do you do for an encore? It's taken Jaguar 50 years to answer that question, but at last, the F-Type is here. The Jag launches into a tough market, and one of its biggest rivals is the new Porsche Cayman. And it just happens to cost £20,000 less. was riding in my dad's E-Type Jag when I was just three years old and that's what got me really hooked on cars. This F-Type is the V6S. It's the midpoint of the range between the V6 and the V8. With 375 brake horsepower on tap, it hits 60 miles an hour in less than five seconds. Well, my dad only had a Volvo Estate, but as a kid growing up in the 80s, it was Porsche that was the real embodiment of sports cars. To me, nobody does it better. Last year, Tim said the Porsche 911 was the best sports car in the world. I bet now he's saying that the Cayman is just as good to drive and it costs half the price. And this Cayman's just over half the price. It's also nearly £20,000 less than the cheapest F-Type. I bet, right about now, Tim's trying to tell you the Porsche is a really good family car. Well, I'd be more than happy to do the score on twice every morning in this. But just look at the F-Type. It looks like it's doing 100 miles an hour standing still. In comparison, both Porsches just look a bit dull. OK, OK, so this standard Cayman is about a second slower to 60 miles an hour than the F-Type. But forget about that. It's handling that matters most. Where the Jaguar's got its big, heavy engine out the front, in this car, the engine's right behind me, bang in the middle, and that gives it near perfect weight distribution and great balance for cornering. But the F-Type is more like an old-fashioned muscle car, and I love it for that. The steering is really direct, and the back end is almost too willing to slide out. I wouldn't bank on the back tyres lasting very long. Old school or not, it's extremely fast. My dad's old E-Type wouldn't have come close. Back in the real world, the Cayman is more practical than you might think. There's room for luggage in the front and in the back, and the combined volume is more than a Ford Fiesta. Compare that to the shallow slot you get in the F-Type. Jaguar was below average for reliability in the latest Witch Car survey, the largest of its kind in the UK. Porsche was better and was also rated top for owner satisfaction. Click the link below to find out more. That's all very sensible, but on the road, the Jag just feels more special and its eight-speed automatic gearbox really lives up to its quick shift name. I've always preferred a manual gearbox in a sports car but most people will pay two grand more for this PDK dual clutch auto. And I can see why. It accelerates quicker and it's more economical. So what do you reckon then, Claire? You've waited 50 years for this car. Not quite 50 years. OK, not, not quite 50 years, but a long time. Was it worth the wait? Definitely. It's the best thing to come out of Coventry since the E-Type, and I think it's the best car of the year. It is a fantastic car, I'll give you that. But... But you'd take the Cayman? You already know that. <laughs> I think it's better to drive. I'm confident it would be better to live with, and it's so much cheaper. But it's so predictable. Well, the fact is that I can't even nearly afford either of these cars. So I'm going to be in the cheap seats for the way home. Are you coming? No, thanks. I'm off to take my dad for a spin. Mm. 
Click here to read our first drives of the Jaguar F-Type and Porsche Cayman, plus our top 10 sports car buying tips.